you can create this animation even if you are a beginner. For this animation, I used pastel colors and playful fonts, but you can use your own to create something different like this other animation that looks a little bit more corporate. Or you can also create something like this, which is more edgy. And this animation is actually the one that inspired me to create this tutorial. I'll be using a Canva Pro account to create this animation, but it could be done with a Canva free account if you are using your own media. If at any point you would like to try Canva Pro, we have a free trial in the description. We're going to start by going to canva.com and from here we are going to create a new video document. So we are going to the videos tab and then we are going to video 1920 by 1080 and click create blank. This is going Going to create a new document and open it in the editor. We need to create some guides so let's go to file settings and then add guides. There are some predefined guides here but we need to create a custom one so click custom and from here I'm going to type 4 under columns and gap I'm going to leave it as 0. I'm creating 4 columns because I want to showcase 4 people in my animation. After you have entered Enter your information in here you're going to add guides and we're ready to start designing our animation so we're gonna start by creating a rectangle so let's go to elements and scroll down until you see shapes we're gonna add a square shape and then we're going to stretch it out to fill one of these columns. Let's change the color of this shape so we can do it from here. I'm going to select color and then add the hex code that I want to use on this shape. This is the hex code, so I'm selecting the color. And now, in order to create these other columns faster, I'm just going to duplicate this shape. So by selecting the shape, I then have access to this button that says duplicate. When I click here, I have an exact duplicate and all I have to do is to reposition it to the second column. I'm going to add the second color here. So I already have my hex code ready and paste it on this search bar, selecting the color from here. And now in order to create these other two columns faster, I'm going to select these two shapes here and duplicate them both. Now I just need to reposition them and change the color on these two. Once we have these shapes and colors ready, we're going to add the people we want to showcase on this animation. So I'm going to use a couple of photos in the library just for the sake of this tutorial. But if you have your own photos, you can upload them. So you can use the upload section and then select this button that says upload files. I'm going back to elements and from here, I'm going to search for a woman, hit enter, go to photos. And then because I have a Canva Pro account, I have access to this filter and I'm going to filter the results by cutouts only. Closing this window by clicking on this icon again and I'm going to start adding a couple of people here and let me try to find another one let me see more of this yeah i think i'm gonna use this photo here and just to make it fun i'm going to add ronnie and myself to this animation so let me find our photos Now we need to adjust the size of all of these photos so we have more or less the same ratio or same proportions Now it's time to add the names and then some decorative items. So I'm going to first clear these guides as we don't need them anymore. I'm going to file, settings, and then clear guides. To add the names, go to text and add a text box. I'm going to add the first name. So let's say that this person is named Chloe. And now we can change or customize everything about this text box using these two bar here. I'm going to use a more playful font so let's go for one that is called Mansalva and I think I'm going to change the color to white, increase the size and then why not 
I'm going to rotate this text box as well. Once you have the first text box ready, you are going to duplicate it and then create the following names. You can leave this animation as it is, you know, using the colors in the background, the photos and the names, or you can add some other elements to make it a little bit more fun. To do this, you are going to open the elements tab. And from here, we are going to search for graphics. And then from here, you can scroll down to see if there is any collection that can work with your animation. There are a lot of different collections that you can use here, or you can search for any other element using the search bar on top. I'm gonna use this collection here to see how it looks on my design so I'm clicking on this image to open the collection and I just need to click on any of these elements to bring it to the design. I'm changing the colors on these elements so I'm gonna make them white. I'm gonna leave the first frame of my animation looking like this and we're ready to start building the following pages of our animation. To do this we need to duplicate this page. At the bottom of your screen you should see a thumbnail like this and if you don't see it you should see something like this. In order to see the thumbnail you need to click on this little arrow and now to duplicate this page take your mouse over the thumbnail click these three dots and then duplicate page now we need to add again some guides go to file settings add guides this time we are going to add five columns and then click add guides make sure that you are positioned on page two and then select all of the elements on the column two three and four and resize them so they fit these three columns. We are going to then take these three rectangles behind and increase the size to cover the whole page. Then select all of the elements on the first column and increase the size so it covers the first two columns. Then adjust the position of your elements. I'm going to bring the name below on top of the person and I'm also going to move this shape here and rotate it. This is going to give us a little extra animation on this element which is going to be fun. It is going to be pretty subtle but I think it is worth it. I think I like the position of these elements so I'm just going to add a texture behind this person, the person that we are trying to highlight to make it a little bit more fun. So we are going to elements back and then search for frames, add this one to the design, cover the first two columns of the design, go to position, layers, and make sure that this frame is behind the person that you are highlighting. Then go back to elements and search for texture. Go to photos and from here you can try different textures on the frame and see which one you like better. Also, because we are using photos on this frame, we don't see the color in the background. But I would like to still see that color, so I'm gonna add some transparency to this photo just to have the texture and still be able to see the color in the back. Now we just need to follow exactly the same steps for the following people. So that means we need to duplicate page one. So go to the page number one, the three dots, and then duplicate page. I'm going to bring this page to the last position. I'm selecting these two columns here, reducing their size and then selecting column one and reducing its size. I'm selecting the rectangles at the back to cover the page and now selecting the elements of the person that we want to highlight and make them bigger so we cover two columns here. Now I just need to work on the position of these elements and I'm going to page 2, select the same texture that we have here, Control c and then go to page 3, Control v We're going to position this texture behind the person we want to highlight and now I just need to follow exactly the same steps for the remaining two people.
I am done with all of these pages so let me show you what I have in here. We have the initial page that looks like this. This one is page 2 where we are highlighting the first person. On page 3 we are highlighting the second person. Let me position this texture a little bit better. On page 4 we highlight the third person. Here I positioned her name a little bit to the side because if I put it here we cannot quite read her name as she has a wide blouse. So I'm positioning her name on top of her blouser. And then on page 5 we have the last person. Here we have exactly the same issue in which we have a white text and white t-shirt. So I'm going to change the color on this text box and I'll be using exactly the same color that we have in the background. So we have something like this, page 1, 2, 3, four and five. I personally like to end the animation by having the page one again at the end. So we don't end with the last person highlighted but we go back to the initial frame let's say. So I'm selecting page one, Control c going to page five and then Control v Now we are ready to add some transitions. You're going to hover your mouse in between these two pages, the first and the second page, until you see these two buttons. Select the lower button that says add transition. Click here and then select the transition called match and move. You will see that there is a button appearing down below that says apply between all pages. Make sure that you select this button. This is going to add the same transition in between all pages automatically. I would love to hear from you if you want me to create more of these tutorials in which I show you trendy animations that are quite easy to create. Please do let me know so I can try to find more of these animations online and create more of these tutorials for you. Now, if you leave your animation as it is, it will be a little bit boring because each page lasts more than 4 seconds. When you play the animation, we have static images for a long time. We want to change this and make it more dynamic, so I'm going to reduce the size of these pages to around, let's say, 2 seconds. To change this, you are going to click on these numbers that you see on any of the pages. I'm going to to do it on page one. So you see here 4.7 seconds. I'm clicking here to have access to the timing settings. I'm going to move this slider to the left until I see, let's say, yeah, 2.5 and then activate this toggle to apply to all pages. Now all of our pages last 2.5 seconds and I actually believe page 1 and page 2 can be even shorter. So these two, I'm going to leave them to 1.5. Now let's preview this animation and pay attention also to these little icons or illustrations because they are going to rotate a little bit as well. So let's preview it from here. I'm going to click on this play button at the top of the screen. This is looking amazing, I really like it. We just need to add some music to this animation to make it more fun. Let's close this window and go to elements. From here we are going to open the audio section, so click see all. And here you'll find plenty of soundtracks that you can use on your animation. As you can see, most of them, if not all, have this little crown. That means that these are available only for Canva Pro users. If you have a Canva free account, you can upload your own soundtrack and apply it to this animation. Okay. Okay, so to apply this sound, we are going to make sure that this guide is positioned at 0, 0.0 seconds and then simply click on the soundtrack that you want to add. If you want to listen to the soundtrack before applying it to your animation, you can click on the little thumbnail. You will see that when you hover your mouse on the thumbnail, there is a play icon.
Now let's listen to our soundtrack because sometimes at the beginning of our soundtrack we have very mellow sounds and they don't quite match our animations. So let's hear the soundtrack. We have something more animated in this section of the soundtrack. So by simply selecting the soundtrack, you can drag your mouse to the left and have this fun part of the song at the beginning of the animation. So let's preview the animation one more time. Okay, I'm gonna drag it a little bit more. I think this part of the soundtrack is working better, but I have a little trick that is going to make this animation go to another level. When you click on the soundtrack, you will see a button on the toolbar that says Beat Sync. When you click here, there is an option available only for Canva Pro users that is called Sync Now. When you activate this toggle, Canva will sync your animation to the beat of the song. This, of course, affected the length of the pages, but just a tiny bit. And now we have something like this. Now we are ready to download this animation. Let's go to share, download. We're gonna make sure that we use MP4 video so we can hear the music that we have selected. If you're gonna use this animation on your social accounts, I do suggest that you connect your social accounts to Canva to avoid a content ID claim. So I'm clicking here and then download. And this is the final outcome. I'll see if I can upload these two designs as Canva templates on my Canva profile. So if those designs get approved, you will find the links to the templates in the description so you can use them. And by the way, we publish new templates every week on my Canva profile. So I'm going to leave the link here so you can follow me there. And if you're interested in learning how to create this animation that you see on the screen right now, I'm going to leave the tutorial right here. And I think this is it for this tutorial. So I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.